Hi everyone, I'm Miss Olivia and at Native Health we are starting STEM. So I'm here with Lauren from the Science Center and we're going to be starting some science projects. So before we begin our project, we will be getting our book, We Learn from the Sun. So I'm going to read the back of the book to review what the book will be about. This beautiful book weaves together the vibrant paintings by Meta's artist Christy Cameron with a rhyming poem written by Meta's Arthur David Buchard. This poem draws in on the seven sacred teachings and shares with us the profound lessons that we can all learn from the sun. So you guys can get this book and have your parents read it to you or read it to yourself and look at the beautiful paintings that the artist and the pain paintings by Christy Cameron made. So you can get this book and read it. And when you are done, we can start our science project. All right, and I am Lauren from the Arizona Science Center, and today we are going to be learning all about the sun, doing some solar sun activities. So you should have a few of these, or all of these materials in front of you because you get a really cool box in the mail. So the first thing you're going to have is everybody, some of you will have a turtle, and I believe there's a butterfly and a fish in the other boxes, so you might have that animal as well with some little squares of tissue paper inside of a bag. You should have two plastic cups, three pieces of yellow cardboard, a little bundle of tape, two pipe cleaners, one blue piece of paper, and a thing of glue. And then you're also gonna have some really cool beads. So, I want you to take your beads that came in the bag and separate them by the clear beads that you can't see through and then the colorful beads. So let's start by talking about what is UV? What do you think UV is? UV protects you from the sun. It has mm. to do with the sun. It has to do with the sun. So UV is ultraviolet light and that is the light that the sun gives off. So UV isn't really good for your sun you, or for yourself. You want to protect yourself from UV. That's why wearing sunblock is really, really important. And that's why these beads come in handy. See, these are UV beads. And if we were to go outside and expose these beads to the sunlight, they would change colors. They would turn to, they would turn to purples and blues and many different colors. So the first activity that we want to do is we're going to try to build a structure to protect a little animal that we're also going to create from the sun. So you see here, I made a little bunny rabbit. This is my bunny rabbit. <laughs> so I'm going to undo my bunny rabbit's ears and I'm going to put on my UV beads. So then my bunny rabbit is going to have UV beads for ears. Just put a few of those on here. So do you know humans can't see UV? Did you know that? Yeah. But you know who can see UV light? Bees. Oh. Yeah. Bees can see UV light. Pretty cool, huh? That is really cool. All right. Let's put this on here. So, we're making our little ears. All right. So now we have a UV bunny. And you don't have to make a bunny. You can make any type of animal that you want. So let's set our UV bunny off to the side. So some of the oldest structures in the world are in the shape of a pyramid. Did you know that? Yes. Yeah, very <laughs> cool. So I'm gonna make my structure look like a pyramid. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my tape. I'm just gonna start making my structure. So what are some of the things that we use the sun for? Can you think of anything we use the sun for, Olivia? Energy. Energy, yes, we need the sun to grow our food. What else do we need the sun for? Hmm. I know it brings heat. <gasps> heat, yeah, so it brings heat and it brings light. Did you know that the energy, going back to the energy, can energy can power some some of the stuff that we use? Yeah, so we can use the sun to power things instead of using gas or kind of the materials that 
we may not have for a long time. So we can use the sun to power cars. We can use the sun to power houses. So instead of using traditional ways to, or not traditional, but just more modern ways to heat your house, you can put solar panels on top of your house. It absorbs all of the sunlight and then that, that energy that it's absorbed can help to heat your house. All right, so this is my little house that I created. Hmm, if I put my bunny rabbit in here, do we think my bunny rabbit is completely protected from the sun? No. Hmm, what do you think we could use these two cups for to, to kind of protect my bunny rabbit more from the sun? You're on the right track. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of want to so block like this out a little bit. Yeah, so I'm going to put my... Yeah, exactly. We can put one on the front and one on the back. So that way, the sunlight can't, can't, it can't really get through there. So now, at this point, with your grown-up, you can pause the video and you can go outside and you can see if your bunny rabbit or whatever animal it is you made is protected by the shelter that you made. And you'll know if they're protected because the beads won't change colors. But if the beads change colors, that means your animal is not being protected from the UV light. So go ahead and pause. Very good. How did your animal do? Do you think their animals did probably great? I think the animals did great. Yes, I think so too. All right, so we can set this solar house off to the side. And we're going to do something else really fun with this bead. So me and Miss Olivia, before this class started, we took our bunny rabbit and we took our piece of paper. What do you notice, Miss Olivia? It's the same shape as the bunny rabbit. Oh my goodness. How did we get the shape of a bunny rabbit onto just a blue piece of paper? How did we do that? It's a magic piece of paper. <gasps> it's a magic piece of paper. Oh, is it magic or did we use the sun? We used the sun. We used the sun. We did. So we went outside and again, go with your grown up outside, take your blue piece of paper and you can set whatever you want on it. You can make whatever shape you want. You can do the first letter of your name, or maybe you want to make a circle or a triangle. You can use your pipe cleaner and then you're going to set it on the piece of paper. How long do you think we set it on that piece of paper? Probably less than a minute. Less than a minute. And then you expose it to sunlight. You take it off, and there's the shape of your bunny rabbit. So what happens? We were blocking part of the paper with our bunny rabbit. So when the sun shined onto our paper, this bunny rabbit blocked the paper. Well, it blocked part of the paper. And this paper is actually a special paper. It's a chemical paper. It's called a sun paper. And so what happens is it has chemicals inside the paper and when you put place something on top of the paper it doesn't allow the chemical reaction to happen in this area so everything around this got lighter it was a much more bluer color when we took it out there you notice how light it's a little bit lighter blue and this was the original color of the paper yeah so that's pretty fun too How does yours turn out? Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so for our next activity, we want to make something pretty that we can hang in the window. So when light shines through different colors, you see different colors. Mm -hmm. So you have your two little templates here, and you wanna set them opposite side like this to glue them. So they match. Okay. So now do you want to take the little squares out? Yes. Perfect. So the first thing we want to do is to open our glue sticks. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to put glue all over your animal, all on the white part, all on the white part. I'm just going to chase, trace it around. Good job. All right, Miss Olivia has all these different pretty colors. 
All right, Miss Olivia, which colors do you want to start with? I'm going to start with purple. Purple, okay, so take your purple square and just put it over one of the squares that are open. That's great, I'm going to take a green one. And then we're just going to keep doing this until all of our squares are covered. And you can put different colors next to each other. This is going to look really pretty. We have purple and we have yellow. We have some orange. Ooh, orange is pretty. And then we have some red. Put another Ooh. green one here. Oh, is that a blue? blue? I didn't see the blue. Let's put the blue right here. Make sure we put the blue in there. Oop. Some more blue. So you just want to cover every part of your turtle. Cover all the little squares. And then you want to find a really pretty window to hang these in. Alright, so while Miss Olivia is doing that, we're going to put some glue on the other half of our animal too. All on the white side. So we're going to get all the glue. It's okay if the glue gets a little messy. No worries. Open the glue again. Alright, so we're going to have the light. It's going to shine through. And then we're going to be able to see all the different colors. Okay. Perfect? Perfect. All right. Then we're going to turn our turtle around. There we go. It's so colorful. Wow. What a colorful turtle we made. Now, even when we hold it up to our light in our room. So that's, that's so called. Cool. That is so pretty. You know what that's called? That is called transparency. So you mm. can see the light. If you can see light shining through something, it's transparent. But if you can't see light shining through something, like say our house that protects our animal, that's opaque. Nothing can get through it. Sunlight can't penetrate something that's opaque. But sunlight can penetrate something that's transparent. Very pretty. All right, so now for our last solar activity, we are going to make some solar bracelets. So you can use some of the beads from your animal. You can take it apart if you like, or if you want to keep your animal together, we're going to take our animal apart so that we have some more beads. But as I was saying earlier, UV isn't really good for human skin. We have to be careful because it can do a lot of damage to our skin. Mm -hmm. And those of us that live in the desert, we get a lot of sun, don't we? We do. We do. So we need to wear our sunblock, and we also need to know when we're being exposed to UV rays. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some bracelets. So if you want to start putting the UV beads on this bracelet, and then you can use your other color beads just to give it some fun flair. And we'll get this one off. Good. So now when you wear your bracelet and you go outside and if your if your clear beads start to change colors, you know that you are being exposed to UV light and it's time to put on sunblock. So you can find your grown up and say, hey, did you bring any sunblock? Because I'm being exposed to UV because my beads are changing colors. All right, that is a beautiful bracelet. Can I help you tie it on? Yes. All right, so to tie it on, you just do this, you just twist it, and then I like to tuck it into the sides here using a bead so it doesn't poke me. Now Miss Olivia will be protected from the sun because she's going to know when UV light is penetrating her skin. I love it. Love it. Me too. <laughs> Well, I hope you had fun learning about solar science, and I hope you learned a little bit about the sun, and I really hope you enjoy your beautiful book that was given to you in your box. So until next time, bye!